Hi everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Laura 123 and uh, this is going to be a come and spend Saturday with me. So today is Saturday, funnily enough, and uh, I'm in bed at the moment but I'm going to get up in a minute, get ready, I'm going to go shopping, I'm going to go to the library, I'm going to go for a coffee and then I'm going to come home and well, you just have to keep watching to find out what I'm going to do. Um, Nathan's next to me. Just turn the camera around. He's literally asleep. Look. <laughs> Babe. Uh. Babe. Uh. Do you want to come shopping with me? Fuck off. I love you to fuck off. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I love you, but fuck off, I'm asleep. What do you mean, fuck off? Don't you want to come shopping? No, I'd rather sleep. He doesn't want to go shopping. No. It's 8 o'clock Saturday morning. And why are you waking me up? Because I wanted to see if you want to go shopping with me. Did you, what did you think the answer would be? I don't know, you might have wanted to get up and go shopping early. I really don't think so. Okay. I'm going back to sleep, bye. I love you. Love you. Okay, so he doesn't want to go shopping with me. I just have to go on my own. <laughs> okay, right, I'm gonna get out of bed and get ready. Okay, so I've got my makeup on. All I've got to do is go and get dressed and then I'm going out shopping. Mummy, one, two, three, my mum has said that she'll give me a lift to town, so me walking. But I don't mind walking, but obviously if someone's going to give you a lift into town, you know, you're going to say yes to that. So yeah, I'm just going to go get dressed and then um, maybe I'll get mummy on camera. She can say hello to you all. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm uh, on my way to shopping. <laughs> oh, do you like my lipstick? Really dark red. It's from Next. In case anyone wants to know, I love this colour. It's like really, really dark, like cherry red. <laughs> so, Mummy One Two Three is going to give me a lift on this early Saturday morning. Say hello, Mummy. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I need to do before I go shopping is get some money out because, like, basically, I haven't got nothing on me. So, I'm just going to get some money out. Okay, so before I go shopping on my own, I've come into Marks and Spencers with Mummy, Mummy123. Um, she needed a few things in Marks and Spencers. I said I would go with her. So now I've just got to find her because she went off to get a trolley and I don't know where she is. She's got to be around here somewhere. So I'm on a mission of uh, finding my mum. Is that her up there? I think that's her. I think I found her. <laughs> Hold on a minute, here she is. I found her, here she is. Hello. What are you looking for? Croquettes. Potato croquettes. croquettes. Tesco's. No, I like Tesco's mash oh, better. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but I don't want the reduced ones. Why? Because they're up to today. No. Oh, they're cheese ones as well. I only want the normal croquettes. I don't like well, they're, one with they're cheese got, in they're them. They're all up for today. I can't eat all them croquettes in one day. <laughs> Look at the size of these. <laughs> so to speak. Giant Yorkshire puddings. God, they're big, aren't they? So you found some fresh ones. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool.
Okay, so I'm out of Mark's Suspenses now. Mummy's gone. She's gone supermarket shopping to Morrison's and I'm just going to wander around shopping in the high street on my own. God, I sound such a loser when I say that. On my own loser. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to start with the Royals, which is behind me. That's the Royals Shopping Centre and just kind of have a look in these shops in there. So, um, yeah, come with me. Let's go shopping. Look at the slaves, look at the slaves. Oh my God. It's just, <laughs> I forgot just really short arms or I mean, it's just really long slaves. <laughs> I like this a lot, look at this. Little cat unicorn it says, always be unique. It's definitely me, I'm definitely unique. <laughs> There's only one minx, Laura. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I wish it was a bit looser, like a bit more baggy. But it's okay, it's still like not tight or anything, and it's so cute. Okay, so the good news is they've got uh, the top in my size, but the bad news is they haven't got the trousers in my size. They've literally got six to eight and ten to twelve, and that's it which sucks because I'm definitely not those sizes um, but I can get the top because uh, the top is awesome look at that born sassy girl power Betty Boop Betty Boop rocks I'm really gutted about the trousers but what I might do is go on eBay and look for them in my size oh <laughs> I love that look little pug dog with antlers naughty who me <laughs> I love pugs <laughs> elf look. oh my god Santa's coming Santa I love elf it's probably one of my favorite Christmas films ever I love it this is a little pajama set um which I think is cool but I don't know if I'd wear it do you know what I mean but I do like it there's the Grinch I like the Grinch it's good to be bad I agree Grinch I agree <laughs> look at these how cute are these like little unicorns unicorn fan club oh yeah I'm all over that 11 pound it's quite a good price and they're really thick and fluffy and warm which is perfect for when it gets nice and cold and yes I did say nice and cold because I do like the cold weather I'm a bit weird um, these are really fluffy and warm and lovely and they've got unicorns on it's all good <laughs>
So I've got all this in the bag and I'm just going to go and pay now. Just come outside from uh, the Royal Shopping Centre and it's now pouring a rain. Um, I've got no coat, I've got no umbrella, I'm probably going to get drenched, but there we go. My mum said you should take an umbrella and I was like, no, it's not going to rain. She's like, you should take a jacket then. I was like, no, it's fine. Yeah, I should have listened to my mum basically, because <laughs> now I'm going to get drenched. It's not actually cold, it's just wet. Ah, oh, there's a car coming. Okay, right. Um, so, ooh, screechy wheels on that one. Uh, so yeah, I've been to Poundland, been to Primark, and uh, now I'm gonna head into Waterstones. I don't need any books, because I've already got loads of books that I haven't read yet, but it's always nice to just look in Waterstones, because it is my favorite shop, so, well, one of my favorite shops. Um, so I'm just gonna have a little look, see what like new books are out and stuff, you know, see if there's any like special offers. Uh, so, yeah, that's where I'm off to now, Waterstones, and I'm getting very wet. Ah. I hate this woman. Sorry, can I just say, Crooked Hillary, lock her up. Just, can I just say that? There we go. I hate Hillary Clinton, hate her. I got this book the other day, I haven't read it yet, but I have got it, and uh, it looks so good, like a proper spooky ghost story book. Oh look, it's Robbie. I do love a bit of Robbie Williams, he's so gorgeous. And he's got a good voice as well. I got this book the other day, and like everyone's going <coughs> on and on and on and on about it, saying how amazing it is, but to be fair, I thought it was really boring, and I didn't like it, so just thought I'd randomly say that. However, this book I did love, Mirror Mirror, Cara Delevingne, or Delevingne, however you say her name. That was an amazing book. Loved it. I read that book ages ago. I loved it. One of Us is Lying. So good. I've got this book to read, Wonder Woman, will bring her. I haven't read that yet, but I've got it. Absolutely loved um, 13 Minutes. That was amazing. I've got that book to read. It only happens in the movies by Holly Bourne. Haven't read that yet. No, I don't know what that is, but that looks pretty cool. Spell Slinger. I love the cover. I have no idea what it's about. I don't know if it's a series or anything, but I just love this cover. So let's have a look.
I can't believe it. I come out of Waterstones and I have not bought one book. Literally, not one book. I never come out of Waterstones with nothing, so that's quite a shock. But it's good because I've already got loads of books that I haven't read yet, so yeah. Um, right now, where am I going? I'm going to the EE -E phone shop uh, because I need a new phone charger. For some reason, my one will not work anymore. I won't charge my phone, which is obviously an essential thing I need to be able to charge my phone. So I'm just going over there now to the EE phone shop to get a phone charger. Okay, so I've got my phone charger. I can actually charge my phone now, which is always a good thing. Uh, now I am going to a uh, game. I've got to get Nathan a couple of uh, game vouchers from my mum. Right, it's really weird, right? My mum is so loud and proud, like me. Um, <laughs> and basically, she doesn't want to go into game to get his Christmas vouchers because she doesn't know what to say, right? And I was like, what are you chatting about? Just go in there and say, can I have like some vouchers? She's like, no, no, I don't know what to say. It's a young person's shop. I'm not a gaming person. I was like, I'm not a gamer, but you can still go in a game. Anyway, so I said, I would go and get these vouchers. So yeah, that's where I'm heading now. I'm gonna to go to game and uh, get Nathan some vouchers from my mummy for Christmas. So I know what she means though. I always get a bit intimidated in game. I don't know why, but they're just kind of, I don't know, they are quite like hipsters and young and cool. That's how I see them. So I always feel a bit like intimidated, but whatever, do you know what I mean? It's just a shop. I'm just gonna go in there, ask for some vouchers and come out. So, yeah, I don't know what game he's after. Uh, I can't remember. He did tell me, but I can't remember. It's a game. That's all I know. <laughs> right, OK, right, I'm going in. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Actually, I think that was the game. Call of Duty. That's the one he wanted. Means nothing to me. I'm not a gamer, but that is the game that he's after, apparently. I remember now. I remember the name of it. Okay, so I've been to game and I got Nathan his vouchers, and uh, now I'm off to the library and I've got to pick up a book that I ordered that's come in and I'm very excited to get it, it's supposed to be really good. So yeah, um, I really fancy a coffee as well. I really, really want to have like a cappuccino at Starbucks. I don't know, should I, should I not? It's probably going to be really busy now. When I started off this shopping experience today, it was really quiet and now it's just getting busier as the time's gone on. So. I don't know if I want to sit in a busy Starbucks, but maybe I could get one to take away or something. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to go in the library now and pick up my book and I need a wee wee, so I'll probably nip in the toilet as well. Random information for you, but there we go. So this is the book that I ordered, Ink and Bone. It's supposed to be really, 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 really good, hopefully. Okay, so I'm at home now and I'm going to do a little haul to show you what I got whilst I was out shopping. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, uh, first of all, I have loads of things from Primark to show you. This bag is so heavy, seriously. <laughs> And it's literally like a falling apart. That's the thing, right? I know it's better for the environment, right? But when it's raining, which it was, it was literally making my bag just like split. And I was really worried that I was going to be walking along and like all my stuff would come out of the bag because that has happened before. Very embarrassing and annoying. Um, but it didn't happen today, so that's good. Everything stayed in the bag. Um, so, yeah, let me show you what I got. So first of all, I got this really, 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 really cute top. Now I would wear this like to go out in, but I can't because it is like a pajamas top and it's got Betty Boop on it. Love Betty Boop. Love the colouring of it as well. Uh, so there we go. So it's Betty Boop and it says on it, born sassy girl power. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> so um yeah love this really annoyed though because um the pajama bottoms which it come with like in the set they didn't have my size at all they only had like little slim girls sizes nothing for the chubby girl um so i'm gonna have to go on ebay i think at some point and just like try and find if they've got the bigger size pajama bottoms to go with it but it's all good i'll still kind of like lounge around in the house wearing it i love betty boop she's so cool um this was where's the price hold on a minute oh there we go it was 10 pound so yeah i got that and um, by the way i will do a little like um modeling after this bit so carry on watching and then you can see um what the clothes look like on me as well um oh so i've got this hoodie i love this hoodie um it's a lovely like baby pink color which doesn't look it in this light but i promise you it is like a baby pink color and it's a hoodie and it's got a cat <laughs> This is so random a cat in sunglasses with a unicorn horn mm -hmm. and it says on it always be unique which is definitely something i am i'm definitely unique do you know what i mean um and i just think it's really cute it's really girly and fun and sweet and yeah i love hoodies i always wear hoodies um well not like always but a lot anyway um next up i have some pajamas unicorn themed i do love unicorns you know that if you're a regular viewer here on my channel um so these are oh by the way the hoodie how much was that that was seven pound for the hoodie um so these pajamas were 11 pound so they are this lovely like lilac purpley color and pink and white and they've got unicorns all over them hold on i'll try and turn it around Ah, hold on. <laughs> so basically on it, it says uh, Unicorn Fan Club. And it's got a big star, lots of unicorns. It's really cute. And they're so fluffy and really warm and just like, hmm, so cosy. Uh, I love sitting in like comfortable pajamas. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, there's the trousers as well. So what I'll do, I will try them on. You'll see what they look like. But yeah, I've got these and i've also got a jumper because it's starting to get cold especially for me like in the night time i sit downstairs right and i'm on the sofa and i'm just freezing i'm like oh i'm so cold um so like we put the heater on it doesn't seem to help i'm still cold so you need to get a lot of like warm thick jumpers to keep you warm uh, so this jumper was 13 pound and it's so warm and thick and lovely and I've got it the wrong way there we go um you can't really see in this light but it's a really nice like lilac-y bluey kind of color um and it's just so soft it really is the material it's just so warm and soft and a little bit fluffy but not too fluffy you know when like the fluff comes off it's not like that but it is a bit fluffy and soft um so yeah i got this and uh this is a size 18 but it's really loose like it's really really baggy and loose which i love um also this isn't from primark actually this is just ended up in the primark bag um this is a lipstick that i got from uh, poundland and it was uh, a maybelline lipstick it's uh, a 14 hour super stay lipstick apparently it's supposed to stay on your lips for 14 hours yeah right we'll see <laughs> we'll see but it was only a pound and i really like the color um let's have a look it's like this really nice pinky color you can see that um it's a little bit broken at the top which annoyed me but mm, it looks new but it's just like chipped a bit at the top so if you can see that um but it's a really nice pinky color i'll just wipe that bit off but yeah we'll see if it stays on for a pound it's worth a try um okay next up i have oh these were from poundland i do love my poundland these are really random they're in their christmas section like funny novelty gifts bit these are dress up dress down dress to impress dress for dinner dress up napkins weird i know um so basically these are napkins and you put, <laughs> put them on like your top and you just take selfies and like sit at the dinner table and look like a weirdo and have a laugh but there's like one with a hairy chest one with like big old pecs one with big boobs um one in a bikini like, i don't know i thought it'd be quite funny uh apparently how many did you get 20 i think you get 20 in here six different images so yeah <laughs> i showed nathan he was like what are they and i was like it'll be fun 
maybe. Um, next up, I've got this from Primark, and it's this really lovely LED light, and it's in the shape of Minnie Mouse. So these are quite brand new in, and um, they had Mickey Mouse ones and Minnie. So obviously the Minnie has uh, the bow on it. Now this isn't for me. I do think it's really sweet, but it's not for me. It's for one of Nathan's sisters, Vicky, for her uh, Christmas present, one of them. Uh, so this will go in her little uh, Christmas gift. And I got that because I knew that she loved Disney and it's just really cute so yeah it looks better in like proper light but yeah it is really cute and it is official Disney product uh, from Poundland I got <laughs> this is really weird every year right, I go on Instagram Facebook Twitter etc and uh, by the way the links to all my social media are down below come follow me on social media um, yeah I go on social media right and everyone puts these pictures on of elf on the shelf and like they put like the, sh the elf in random places and I'm like I want an elf on a shelf now I'll be honest with you I'm not like super religious but I am Jewish um, well it's a long story but my dad was Protestant my mum's Jewish blah 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 I am kind of like I don't know not like full-on religious but I do like learning more about my faith and just being like you know traditional and stuff with the Judaism and anyway so but I do also celebrate Christmas and Easter it's a bit weird but I thought this year for Christmas I would get an elf on the shelf so here's my little elf this was from Poundland but he was two pound um he's a vinyl faced naughty elf I didn't want a good elf I wanted a naughty elf you know what I mean so he's got a really cheeky little face I don't know if you can see that but he is like really cheeky looking and cute and he's got these little like <laughs> bendy legs so you can just like put him in places and stuff where shelves are um yeah so that's my elf on a shelf but i've also just ordered on ebay like a jewish version like a little rabbi right so i'll have the uh the elf on a shelf and a little kind of rabbi on a shelf with him yeah another day maybe i'll do a vlog about the whole religion thing and my my family and stuff like that because it's just yeah but i'm very happy i've got an elf and i've just ordered the uh <laughs> the rabbi on ebay as well um next up i've got some socks so these are from primark and uh, these were two pound two pairs in here um i know i've already got loads of socks but these are really thick and warm and my feet get really cold and uh, i love the coloring of them i mean these were just like a plain navy color like they're just socks but these ones i just think are gorgeous like I know, it's like a mixture of all different colours. You've got pink, white, red, blue, like all just kind of interwoven. I just think they're really cute and cosy. Uh, so these are £2 from Primark. Um, what else have I got? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I've got my phone charger. Uh, so this was from the EE shop. And uh, this is basically a phone charger, right? And you can use it in two ways. You can either use it like a normal phone charger plugged in at the mains, okay? But you can also use it as a USB charger. Sometimes I like to up, um, upload videos that I filmed on my phone or pictures um, onto my laptop. So this is when that USB, uh, you know, connector comes in handy. And uh, also I like just, you know, having a mains plug that I can just charge my phone on you can charge your phone on like via the laptop as well but it doesn't it's not like it takes longer it's quicker on like the mains but it still does like sometimes if my phone's like dying I'll literally quickly put it into my laptop and it charges a bit so yeah I've got that that was like 24 pound now there is a little shop in town that they do like phone accessories and stuff um, and they're quite cheap but I was like, it's for my phone, you know, I've got a decent phone, I don't want to just be like putting cheap old chargers and wires in it, so I'll get the like official Samsung one. So there we go. Next up, I've got this cute little perfume, it's such a cute little bottle, I wish it was better lighting in here. Um, it's like pink and like sparkly looking, it's just so cute. So this was from Primark and uh, it's £2. I love not all of them but some of the Primark perfumes are really nice I love them and they're so cute like the bottles are really nice and they smell okay and nice and £2 you can't really go wrong um, and this is Candy Floss Swirl which is a vanilla and uh, winter berry fragrance and it's lovely I'm not going to spray it because I'm in my mum's bedroom and in case she doesn't like the smell of it 
she'd be like ow, 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 moaning about it so i'm not gonna spray it and anyway you can't smell it through the screen anyways it don't matter but you can just take my word for it it does smell really really nice but oh it's just the only way i can explain it is just so super sweet like really really sweet mm. so two pound for that cute little bottle lovely okay next up i've got my book that um i picked up from the library which i ordered and it come in it actually um didn't take that long to get this one in sometimes i reserve books at the library and it takes like ages this one was in like within a week so that was cool uh, it's called ink and bone and it's by i think it's lisa unger or unger 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 <laughs> i don't know you're saying no anyway um a race against the clock thriller um so I haven't got my glasses on but I'll try and read the back to you if I hold the book like over there um right so 20 20 year old Finley Montgomery has always seen the world differently sometimes it helps her and sometimes it gets her into trouble but it always ends up making her an outsider when she moves to her grandmother's house in the small town of the hollows in upstate New York Finley is hoping for a fresh start until a detective shows up he knows about finley's unusual gifts and he wants her to help a little girl has been abducted and the police investigation has gone cold now the time is running out can finley help them find the clue they are missing before it's too late so i mean i don't know you know it sounds really good and i saw this book mentioned on a booktubers video i can't remember what it was because i do watch a lot of booktubers um but she was just going on and on how wonderful this book was and so i was like i look it up see if they got it at the library they did i ordered it i got it so hopefully it's good and um I'm going to read this next. This is going to be started today. This is the book I'm going to start today. Uh, the only thing I'm quite sad about is uh, the, the font uh, size is quite small writing. Not writing, but type. You know what I mean? Um, but it's quite small print. And I, you know, my eyes aren't the best. So obviously I, I do wear glasses when I read. But it's just, I don't know, it's like really small print. So, I mean, I'm going to try chapter one. I'll read that today, see what I think about it, and uh, if I can't get on with it, whether it's because the size of the font or the story is not that great, I'll just take it back to the library, but we'll give it a go. What else have I got in here? Oh, yeah, I've got some nail varnish as well. Let's have a look. So, um, these are from Primark. They were £2 each. These are new in, and I love the names of them. Saint or Sinner. Are you a saint or are you a sinner? I'm a bit of both, really. I can be really good like a saint, but then I can be a bit of a bad girl, a bit of a bitch, so I'm also a bit of a sinner. Anyway, so yeah, I've got two colours, and in this light, you cannot see them properly. Um, so what I'm going to do at some point tomorrow, I'm going to paint my nails, because they look awful, and I'll paint um, these colours. So I'll mix the colours on each finger, basically. Uh, so like alternate with these two and then I'll take a picture put it on Instagram and you can see um, what the colours look like but uh, the first one is called Immortal and it's like this really no you can't see it it's honestly it's gorgeous it's like a really dark navy blue colour um, it looks quite shiny as well this is probably my favourite one it's so lovely and I like the name Immortal sounds like spooky um, and the purple one is like a really bright purple and it's called Full Moon so yeah but come yeah come follow me on instagram it's laura123 on instagram and i'll put up a picture of uh my nails once they've been painted and last but by no means least i have this now it might just look like a normal pen to you but oh no it can do so much more well not so much more but a bit more than just a pen anyway so it is a pen and it's a torch mm-hmm so here's the the pen that's what it looks like so you basically click that down here so that becomes the pen you can write with it <laughs> um but also up here there's a little switch yeah it's a light it's very bright actually it looks like a really like bright led blue light but anyway uh so that's pretty cool i'm gonna keep this in my handbag um because like sometimes if i've gone out at night and stuff and we're trying to get in the door and you need to see your key and it's just a bit dark you can just be like hold on a minute i'm just gonna get my pen out Ding. yeah or i could just use it as a pen <laughs> anyway i've got that 
So I think that's all I've got to show you for my little shopping trip. I don't think there's anything else. No. Um, so what I'm going to do now <coughs> is cough. <laughs> so is have a little drink. Um, I'm going to tidy everything up because it's just kind of all over my mum's floor and she's not going to be happy. And then I'm going to have a little read. Yeah, I'm just going to sit on my, my reading chair. That's what I call it, my reading chair in my bedroom. And I think I'm going to go downstairs, actually, and uh, make a nice hot chocolate. I love these little um, sachets, the Galaxy hot chocolate sachets. It's basically right. You get your mug or your cup and you pour the sachet in and you pour some hot water in from the kettle. You mix it around and it's delish. Like, it's so delicious. Galaxy hot chocolate. Uh, so I'm going to go do my hot chocolate, come back upstairs, sit on my reading chair and... Um, start my new book in Bone if I can actually read it I don't know like it sounded really cool when the girl said about it on the video right but now I've got it and read the back of it properly I'm just like I don't know I'm not excited about it I'll try the first chapter I kind of know um you know early on in a book if I don't like it or do like it and yeah I actually had to stop reading a book yesterday um which upset me because I was very looking forward to reading it for a long time and then I got it and I was like, Ugh, I can't, I can't go on with it, it's just boring me. Um, it was by Melissa De La Cruz and it was called Alex and Eliza, or Eliza, I don't know how you say it. Um, but yeah, it was like, basically like an old historical romance fiction, but it was based on Hamilton, the musical. Now, I've never seen Hamilton, I don't know what it's about, so I think maybe it would have helped if I would have watched it known what it was about but it said on the reviews that you don't have to have like watched Hamilton or know what it's about to read this book so I was like oh, okay cool I'll give it a chance um but I don't know like, I got to page like 130 or something I did give it a good go <laughs> and I was just sitting there last night right and I said to Nathan um I'm just getting bored with this book I'm not enjoying it it's just like it's just going on. Like, I'm not really excited. The writing seemed really, like, mm, predictable and just a bit boring. And I had to stop reading it. So now I'm looking for a new book to start today. And it was going to be this one. Well, it will be this one. But I don't know. I'm not feeling it. It could all change. I could start and think, wow, it's really good. I think what's putting me off the most is that this font is so freaking small. I don't like reading books where the, the font is so small because my eyes, so cause it makes me strain my eyes more. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I'm rambling. So come with me and we'll make some hot chocolate and then come back up with me and just, you know, watch me read. Well, not like for ages. I'll just put the camera there for like a couple of minutes, but you can just see where I sit in my reading chair. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's go make hot chocolate. Okay, I was going to say, before I go and do the hot chocolate, I'm going to do a little modelling and show you my clothes that I bought. So, all the clothes that you just saw in the haul, I'm now going to model and try on and show you what they look like. I completely forgot about that. When I started to tidy things up, I was like, oh, I haven't done the bit where I like show the clothes. So, here we go. Uh, so, the first thing I want to show you is this jumper. If I just turn camera downwards there we go so you can see it's very snug oh it's so warm and cozy and it's this really lovely um like bluey lilac-y purpley kind of color and yeah i really like it it's so warm honestly it just feels like so snug that's the only word i keep saying but it is it's just so cozy and snug and yeah so i've got this jumper Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Betty Boop top, born sassy, oh yeah, and girl power. I really love this. It's so comfortable, cosy, it fits nice, and I love the colouring of it. I love Betty Boop there, and I love the sleeves. Look, it's got like lipstick kisses on. So cute. So, yeah, this is the Betty Boop top. So, this is my cat unicorn hoodie always be unique <laughs> so there we go I like it I like it a lot I wish it was a little bit more baggy 
just because I like things really baggy. But it's still loose, like it's not tight or anything. And I love the colouring and I love the little cat with the unicorn horn. And the fact that it says like, you know, about being unique and different, I think it's quite a cool thing. So yeah, and I like the fact that I can just be like that, put my hands in my pockets. I always do that so much. So I'll show you what it looks like um, with the hood up. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. There's the hood up. I like it. I think it's cute. I love hoodies so much. Like, I've got a friend and she'll never wear hoodies. She hates them. And I'm like, how can you hate a hoodie? Hoodies are so comfy and they're cute. And yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm wearing my brand new unicorn pyjamas. I'm gonna show you. They are so warm, cozy, comfortable, cute. I love them. Check this out. I'm gonna put the camera down there. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love them so much. I love them so much. Unicorn fan club. I'm definitely in the unicorn fan club, by the way. Um, so yeah, they are so nice, honestly. Really, really soft. I wish that you could reach through the camera and feel how soft they are, because they are just oh, so soft and so pretty. Look, and they fit really well, I think. I like them. <laughs> I don't know why I keep dancing in them, but still. So yeah, they are my unicorn pyjamas. Okay, right, now I'm definitely gonna go and uh, make some hot chocolate and then I'm gonna come up and read. So come with me. <laughs> okay, so I'm making my hot chocolate now. Uh, this is the hot chocolate I'm gonna use. It's a sachet from Sainsbury's supermarket, Galaxy Instant Hot Chocolate, love it. So I've got my go away I'm reading mug <laughs> with the hot chocolate inside there. I love this mug and it's very true. When I'm reading, just go away just go away because I'm reading and I've got the kettle on here boiling away so hopefully it won't take too long because I want some hot chocolate okay so it's finished boiling now I'm just gonna pour it out there we go hot chocolate just gonna stir it stir it stir it stir it now this is quite sweet this one so you don't need to add sugar or sweetener I mean you can it's up to you if you want to um, but for me I don't need to add any sugar because I think it's really sweet as it is so I'm just giving it a nice good long stir just to kind of make it a bit more frothy 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 so mix like all the sachet in properly because if you don't um, stir it properly you can get like little lumpy bits of the sachet of the chocolate so it's got to be stirred. There we go. Look at that. Mmm. So this is my little reading corner, as I like to call it. My reading chair. I sit on here a lot and just read, basically, and relax. So um, it's got, like, this red cover over it. And um, as you can see, like, I've got my little pushing blanket up the top there. So when I'm cold, I sit and read with my blanket on me. I've got my unicorn cushion. And uh, here's the book that I'm going to start reading, Ink and Bone. Here's my glasses, because without my glasses, I can't read nothing. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to sit down. Okay, so this is me on my reading chair, nice and comfortable and cosy, and I've got my book and I've got my glasses on. So I'm going to have a little read now. So yeah, after that I might watch some TV. Everyone keeps going on about this uh, Stranger Things TV show on Netflix, so um, I might give that a go. Because you know when everyone's talking about a certain show and you're like, I haven't seen it, and you can't really join in on the conversation about it, so... I might go on Netflix, as they say, Netflix and chill uh, with Stranger Things. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm in the move, mood for TV or not. I'm not sure. I might just have a little read and just see how I feel. Okay, so tomorrow is uh, fireworks night, officially. But today, on Saturday, we are having our fireworks party. So this is Nathan, and uh, he's going to be showing us what fireworks we have. You ready? Oh, I was born ready. I was born ready. Okay, so we've got a lot. We've got a fair few, yeah. Where did we get them from? Uh, over the place. Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's uh, the, range. the Range. And your mum got some, I don't know where she got this from. Oh yeah, let's go and say hello to mummy. Hold on a minute. Mummy, you ready for the firework party? Yeah. 
I was born ready. <laughs> glasses. <laughs> They're big glasses, aren't they? My dirty glasses. <laughs> right. Take them off and then see my makeup. Very nice. Nice jumper. Thank you. Where'd you get that? Um, Asda? Or was no. it? It's nice. I can't remember. You've got steel here, yeah? No. I might borrow it. <laughs> right, anyway, back to the fireworks. Right, See things? what we have. Right, Nathan, tell us. We've got so much goodies. We've got a selection box with a selection of rockets, fountains, oh, yeah. fuse blast. Dust full. It's got rockets. It's got everything in there. What are your favourite types of firework? Rockets. I like the rockets. Yes, they're good. So, so we've that's got a selection box. Selection box there. And we've got a pack of slightly bigger rockets. Oh yeah, they're big ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got sparklers. Oh, I love sparklers. They're so like simple but fun. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I like we've spelling my name out with sparklers. Fountains. Fountains. Mm. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, other people are doing their yeah. fireworks we've as well. Got the slammer, which is a barrage, which means you light it once and it falls. How many shots in that? 20? 25. 25. And they've been very naughty because it's a space marine. Oh, and yeah, it's from Warhammer. Warhammer and they put him on. I don't think they asked either. Naughty. And then the mighty <laughs> atom. <laughs> the mighty atom. 25 shot barrage of all. So, what's the difference between that one and that one if they both got 25? Maybe that one's bigger. Who knows? It's definitely a bigger. Oh, yeah, no, it is definitely But maybe bigger. the fireworks are bigger. Who knows? Until we light it. Yeah, true. And then the grand finale of our party. <laughs> the funky, funky frog. frog. <laughs> we had one of these last year. I know, I loved it. And it's it my was favourite. the best one of the entire yeah. display. So, so what does he one. do? I can't remember. Is his, his eyes, eyes light, light up. up. Firework comes out of the top of his head. I think some comes out of his mouth. and. Very, <laughs> very explosive. It's, it doesn't sound that good, but trust me, in reality, it is. it is a very exciting experience. Exactly. exactly. That is the finale. That's our finale. So that's what we've got. Yeah. So this is the garden. We are going to be doing it in. I don't know if you can see, so I'm not in night vision, but this is our garden. Um, so it's me, Nathan, my mum. My dad and my dad's partner, Jan, they're the ones at the party. Oh, look, there's our pumpkins from Halloween. <laughs> anyway, right, okay, so um, I'm going to go back in. Okay, right, so um, we are, um, we are going to get ready now because my dad should be here in about 10 minutes or so. So, yeah, the party will start very soon. And you're invited, so keep watching to see some fireworks. Boom! Yeah, we're going to take the stuff off. Don't take a picture of me, I ain't come yet. It's filming. <laughs> it's filming now. Yeah. I haven't come yet, Laura. <laughs> you can't tell. I'll come here then and then I'll film you. I'm not filming right oh, now. It's alright then. Are you looking forward to the firework party tonight? Oh, it's great fun. <laughs> been sick excited for weeks and weeks. <laughs> I haven't been able to sleep. <laughs> Were you that excited? <laughs> Are you looking forward to a big rocket? Eh? Hey? Are you looking forward no, to a big No, I'm looking rocket? forward to a big banger. We've <laughs> <laughs> got small ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to take for ages. Mm. What's the matter with you? Have you sat on a wet chair? Yes. Oh, you... <laughs> I've soaked my arse. All your arse is wet from the chair. <laughs> Wet My dad has wet himself. <laughs> Everything now. Yeah, you're having a hair dry as curses. <laughs> oh, no.
Be careful. Rocket, so it's going up. Oh no. It's a big rocket. Whoa. Boom. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one, wasn't it? That was good. <laughs> It's a bit raw. This is the last one. Yes, I am the last one. <laughs> and I am going to go out with a bang. <laughs> out with a bang. It's a frog. A bit. I must be croaking mad. <laughs> so this is the last firework 2017 extravaganza. The frog. If it lights. Oh! Here he goes. Here we go. Get out of the way. Light it up. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. That's brilliant. The eyes light up. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, yeah. I like that moldy colour, lovely. Please, I've got my washing down. <laughs> <laughs> We're just pushing you out. It was so bright that it turned on the solar lights. Oh, yeah. It's turned out like on the lights. <laughs> and that is the last one. My dad's having a massage. Are you good? And then this is the speed setting. It's a bit slower. Yeah. Faster. <laughs> feels, it feels like there you go. I'll put it in the min. <laughs> oh, sorry, Nathan. Oh. Put it right on the glide. Oh, I don't like it. Yeah, that's it. Oh. I don't like it. It worries me, they might like. Oh, yeah. Bell nine. Like Babies use these. Two-year-olds. <laughs> Two-year-olds. That's only goes two-year-olds use it. You're supposed to write your name in there. Supposed to bring you luck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, don't <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, had a good day today, and I'm just laying on the sofa now, relaxing. I've got my blankie and it's all snug and cozy fireworks was really good we had a good laugh and it was fun and shopping was good 
and my book that I started today is good. I'm enjoying it so far, so that's good. And yeah, just gonna relax now, watch a bit of TV with Nathan and have snuggles and then go to bed. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you know you want to and please click like and comment and I'll see you very soon.